Hi everyone, it's Natalie here. Welcome. So uh, just getting ready to do the tarot reading for this week. So this is the week of September the 12th through the 18th. Um, this week, uh, and I don't have the box because I put the box away and then put all my decks for the month in my, my little uh, acrylic drawer thing up here. But I'll be working with the Crow Tarot by MJ Cullinane um, and published by US Games. I love her so much. I love her work. I think, oh, I just think she's amazing. So um, <clears throat> working with the uh, tarot spread by Benabel Wen, um, which is so lovely and delightful. So it's the weekly spread. It's in the description box here, which is where I usually place it. So um, the first card that we're drawing is going to be the energy of the week. So it's the energy that's most with us or the spirit and energy that's most with us throughout the week this week. Okay, so Ooh, the sun. Wow. Oh my goodness. That really um, corresponds rather nicely with the mode divination of the Golden Mountain. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, so, um, you know, the sun is very much about personal realization, um, the energy of, um, yeah, like the higher self, uh, evolved consciousness, enlightenment, that's going to be the spirit and the, the energy that's with us uh, throughout the week. Nice. That's that's a great energy to, to come into the week with, right? Um, so the second card is really about what the the what's our in our best interest to make our priority for the week. Okay, so what is in our best interest to make our priority for the coming week? Trinley is missing it. There's somebody or something like moving around in the backyard and he's run off someplace else. They're probably, they're probably sitting waiting by their food bowl for me to come in and feed them. Okay. Ooh, five of swords. Okay. So, uh, it's in our best interest this week to, um, Place an emphasis, I think, on communication and how we handle conflict. So anytime we're at work uh, dealing with people, <laughs> whether it's online or in person, uh, over the phone, over Zoom, whatever, you know, how do we want to handle our conflicts, right? How do we want to, um, how do we want to, sorry, itchy, itchy nose, just been dusting in here. Um, you know, what are the things that we need to put into place to, uh, not to avoid conflict, right, but but to embrace it, to remain stable as it, as it occurs, right? Conflict is a part of life. We're always going to have to deal with conflict. I know. I don't like it either. Um, the swords, you know, really suggest it's verbal conflict, verbal warfare, uh, mental warfare. You know, it could potentially... Um, there's a number of ways this could go, right? It could be, you know, needing to, for some of us, it'll be needing to watch the way that we communicate, the way that we handle conflict that's inevitable that comes up, um, and choose words very carefully as we engage it, right? Um, rely much more so on, oops, let me go this way, rely much more so on the higher self, to guide us through conflict so that as we engage with others, um, the conflict is less likely to become explosive, uh, that we're guided by our own authenticity in order to make, you know, the way that we communicate a little bit more effective, um, and maybe a little bit more heart based, right? Uh, it could also be for some of us, it could also be that we're in conflict with the self. It may be that we're feeling in conflict with our own ability to become realized, right? So if this is the energy that's with us um, or the spirit that's with us, it may be that it's bringing up all kinds of darkness as well, 
okay? So if we're thinking about like, am I being realized enough? Am I meeting all of my goals? Am I becoming the person that I want to be? Um, am I my best self, etc.? It could be that we're in conflict with the ways in which we're trying to become our best selves, right? So if that is the case, um, are these in order? And these in, that is that right? I can't tell. It doesn't. Yes, it would be because it's opposite. Okay. Whew, brain farts. Um, but yeah, I mean, it could be that we're, um, it could be too that we're being asked to uh, be more aware of the way that we communicate and to ensure that the way we handle conflict um, and handle um, unfair situations, right, which are always going to bring up conflict on some level. We may feel conflicted about a situation that takes place that's not in our favor or that doesn't go right in the favor for someone else. And, you know, because we want to act from a place of integrity um, and from a place of being on purpose, you know, following our higher integrity, following our higher purpose, you know, choosing how we handle that is going to be very important. Yeah. So let's find out what it is that we need to be mindful of in the coming week, because that's also going to be critical in understanding this, the bigger picture. And I should say too, I, I'm frequently critical of the way that people use the word mindful because I, I think it gets misused a lot and it's often a very misunderstood term because it's now become part of the mindfulness movement. Like everyone talks about it. We all think we must understand it because we have a concept of it. Benabel is somebody who's actually has a, a practice of it. So when she talks about being mindful, She's not simply talking about awareness. She's not simply talking about, you know, be sure to remember this concept throughout the week and bring it to mind, you know, recall it. She's actually saying, you know, embody this, you know, from an embodied place of uh, mindful practice, keep this in your focus, you know, keep this as a principal focus of the week, right? Um, and that is, ooh, that's a reversed three of wands. Interesting. So I don't use reversals very often, but when I do, <laughs> um, but when I do, uh, they are, I, I go ahead and read them. It just tells me, like, you need to read only that aspect of the card. Don't try to bring in the other aspects of it. So, a review, you know, we look at the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands um, would be clearing, you know, would be saying, like, ready for takeoff. You know, go on, take, you know, move forward. You know, the space is clear. Do what you need to do, et cetera, et cetera, right? She follows a, an RWS system with this deck. Um, with it reversed, the way I read that is we need to be mindful of the fact that even though we may think that it's time to take off, uh, it's time to go, it's time to move forward with plans and things that we've been planning uh, and, and, and awaiting to work on, um, it's not quite time yet. So I also feel like this is this is a card that's about timing um, something in the timing of all of those things and bringing them together is a little bit off. It's, it's just not quite right. We want to be careful about taking early, you know, steps that are too soon or too early. Um, and instead rely deeply on your own under <clears throat> understanding of a situation or a project you know, recognize that you know more about it than you realize. Okay, the sun is also about, I feel it's, you know, it's very much about the self and trusting the self, knowing the self, um, you know, not the self like the small self, not the spacesuit self inside the meat suit, right? But the self, the, uh, the Jungian self, um, 
the as though this this makes it more hmm you know uh, <laughs> says the theater major right um but yeah it's the um it's the it's the self that's the most reliable that's the most in charge that is comes from the highest place of of your best interest right trust in that highest self to guide you um with regards to timing and moving forward because that seems to be critical um it may be for some of us that projects we thought were going to move forward this week are delayed um so be aware be uh this she also says that this is something to be prepared for sometimes when she talks about the um the third position so something to be aware of something to be mindful of something to prepare for projects and things are not going to move forward at, with the same deadline that they might have so it'll yeah i'm just starting to repeat the same stuff so i know it's time to like wrap it up right <laughs> something new i'm like waiting to see is there something else is there something else not so much so w when we look at all three of these together right the energy we're working with is the you know is the sun um so it's the highest possible uh version of ourselves we need to use that in order to stay focused on how we handle conflict situations that are unfair uh situations that don't turn out the way that we thought they would and the way in which we communicate around that. And we need to be prepared for there to be some delays. Things may not go quite according to plan. But I don't feel like this is a bad outcome, interestingly. I mean, the, this is potentially not the most positive reading. I don't see this one as being particularly bad. You know, um, at worst, you know, when we look at the movement around a five, because a five is not stable, right? It's going to move one way or the other. So if it takes a step back, okay, what does that mean? Well, it, it would move us to a four of swords. So it would move us back to a place of quiet and stillness and contemplation or of rest, taking a break, right? Um, it, oh, I just had another hit. So, well, I'll come back. I'll come back because I can remember it. It could also be, you know, that if if things do go ahead and move forward, um, at oops, when they go ahead and move forward at some point, we're going from a five to a six. Well, the six restores balance, and it takes us back to a safer place, a safer understanding, um, smoother communication, you know, a smoother ride. So, you know, this is something that's seeking to be resolved what I'm seeing here is that it won't be resolved this week, right? It may not be resolved this week. So we may need to sit with it. We may need to sit with it and just trust that we're enough because we are, right? We really are, um, even though we may not believe it sometimes. If you're somebody involved or engaged in a project, right, let's say that for you, becoming a more deeply realized human being uh, means becoming engaged in a particular project, okay? I think that's a pretty realistic possibility, okay? I'm thinking, too, about some stuff that came up in the Mo Divination. So for those of you who follow both, um, you know, what it was saying about projects and putting aside one project in favor of another, but that the earlier one would come to fruition, just not right away, that may also be what we're looking at here. So we may be looking at, you know, the create a creative realization, a creative project that is engaging you from a more realized place within yourself. Um, and then finding that something about it is, is, no, is no longer favorable, no longer in balance, or, you know, it has to be put to one side in order to deal with this, right? So there, there's some hang-ups. It could be that there are some things, you know, most projects, most things that we work on are going to have hang-ups. They're going to have, um, they're going to require collaboration with others, uh, the input of others, etc. on some level or other. This means we're looking at a situation where maybe somebody abandons ship. Somebody's withholding information that's needed. There's a hang-up in communication or a delay in communication, and that delays... Uh, the ability to move forward, right, with this reverse three of wands. You know, it's it, it may also be that you're dealing with, 
you know, uh, someone who's just a jerk, um, which is a terrible way to talk about somebody, but sometimes that's, that's the part of others that comes forward when there are things at stake, uh, or they feel threatened, right? Keeping in mind that when you're work, oops, when you're working with a spirit of realization, um, whether it's on a creative project or whether it's, um, <clears throat> just within yourself, that can be triggering for other people. You know, they, they can feel very threatened by, by that. Um, yeah, especially when you take a spiritual path, you know, you take a spiritual path and it's going to put some people off. It's going to put their nose out of joint, you know, so you, you choose your friends wisely. Be careful. If it means that you need to cut ties with a few people and I'm just watching these two fly away and hang on to what you've got, or you're the one flying away and they've kept some stuff that was yours and that puts a delay in things, it won't be a bad one. It'll be temporary. You know, it'll be minor, it'll be temporary, and it, it will resolve itself pretty quickly. You know, three, reverse three of wands is not a big deal. But it's going to be annoying throughout the week. So take care of the self, right? Remember that your highest self needs to be what guides you forward. You know, um, act with integrity and handle the delay as though it's not a big deal because it won't be. All right. <laughs> I hope that's helpful. And I will see you again next week. Take care in the meantime. Bye.